Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for Friday, May 6th. And this is where we were yesterday looking for a bullish count to the upside. We had wave one here with an ABC for wave two. We were looking for one and two and three and four and going up for five here for three, four and five to make wave one. Obviously that didn't uh, happen. And then we're looking for the ABC back for wave two. So it's left us with not a bullish trend, it's left us with a corrective trend, an ABC pattern here. So we also have five waves down here now as well. So I need to go back to the bigger picture for a moment and then work back in and bring us up to date. So um, where are we here? I think we're on one day, the daily chart. So yeah we're back on track with this with this count so we're going to bring that b wave down to here so that's it is what it is but we've got we've actually got five waves down to this point here so we're either an a wave and a b wave or wave two here so hopefully we've got wave two here that would uh sorry wave b here that would be in line with uh, stocks like Amazon and Apple that we're also looking for five waves down in this last move here. We already have wave one here, so we'll look for wave two, three, four, five. So we had this count on the tick chart as well. So just going to the tick chart here and and just start uh, reshaping this up a little bit here. So didn't come as where I wanted as high as expected, but um, there we go, um, the ABC for wave two. So now we're looking at this as wave one here and two here. So this wave one, two and three here, I'm quite confident about that. Anything below this five waves that I'm drawing out now, um, I don't know and we'll just need to gather evidence at that, at that point, okay. So we just got to see once we get this one, two, three, four, five here, then we need to, I mean, once we get the five here, we're going to see a rally anyway, but, um, and we could probably trade that because of the size of it, but we also need, you know, just in case this is a larger wave two here. So I'll just put, um, I'll just put that in a larger wave two, just, you know, I mean, I'll have to look at everything, you know, and then just eliminate them sort of one by one. So it's possible, um, have a bigger bear market um, coming into play there. So we also need to line up, I mean obviously the indices are created well partly by itself because it's got the futures market and it's a hedge and all the rest of it, um, but at the same time these big tech stocks are driving these, um, these, these indices, so the Amazon, the Apple, the Tesla and all of those guys uh, we need to you know bring all of those counts together so um, yeah, so we're on the, you know, we're on the money. We're on point, so to speak. So that's, while this trend is going on here, that's what um, I'll be doing in the background. It's trying to sort of pull all these counts in together and then looking at them and saying, well, is this doable? How does it look? How does it feel? Yada, yada, yada. Um, and uh, then we can make a move from that point because if we see some inconsistency somewhere um, then we'll have to be more aware of this situation up here with the wave two having a deeper move down um, but the more confidence we can have in the stock count of this being a low here gives us more confidence in holding through some of the corrections that we have that we'll have in the way up you know so um, this is where we are here. So I'm just going to go to the 1000 tick chart and just drill into that one and two a little bit more in here for that. So it's all pretty simple after just doing these, you know, when you have um, doing the stock charts um, here, um, it was all the same sort of story really. We've got a very clear one, two, three, four, five here. So what we'll be looking for now is an, an ABC correction, pulling back up 50, 60%. So we're in, we're, 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 um, we're in good timing here. Now that's 42 over here. 
so at the 50 percent so i'm just going to bring this down a little bit more um so we don't get we want to be sort of shorting in this green box here you know and i just don't want us to fall foul fall short of that getting in on that um, we're going to see some sort of a wave coming up b wave drifting down and c wave coming up you know it should could maybe get there um, and then come down from that point um, we need to be looking to add any way we can so we need to have a little bit more of a look at the detail in here just for a moment so one of the things that we can look at is um well first of all <coughs> we've got um the 300 there so we've got 4000 which is the medium level and medium level is halfway between two major levels so 3000 and 5000 the fibonacci numbers and then from 4000 the medium level here we've got minor levels that's the next degree down so we've got one two and three that make up minor group one we failed to get support on top of that so we're not bullish and now once the two becomes the resistance then it'll be pulled down to the four here now between between each of these here we've got the next degree down which is sub level so so with the sub levels we've got group one which is we'll put these in because they'll be handy for that they're just good for under getting in putting stops understanding the market a bit better 130 here One fifty, so one, two, three, five, and eight. I mean, it's not that complicated. They're the Fibonacci numbers, and they go, they go, they go between, you know, the two one hundred and two hundred. You know, if you got the Dow, it could be one thousand, two thousand. You know, it doesn't matter. It's all the same, same. And then we got Group Two here. When we talk of eighty, we talk of Group Two, so sixty-five. And then seventy-two close enough and I'll just give that a splash of color just as a design thing because it's a bit crowded in there and it just sort of sort of so basically it, it kind of helps break down the problem here it's going to be handy in shorting this move down here because once the because when we're talking about group two here for example um they will have group one above that as well so 10 20 and 30 above so that would be that 10, 20, and 30 above here. This would be its swing range at this point. So we could say to ourselves, okay, once the 65 here becomes the resi retested resistance, then we can look to short at that point. So the retested resistance might be nice and simple like that at the 65 number, or it may be a little bit more complicated, which is normally the case. So the arrival, the reaction, the first low below the level, the ABC pattern going back above the level here. So we don't go to short down here, we short under here, and then we lift it up here to short. If it goes back above here, then we start we start this process down here again. So this will have the arrival, the reaction, the first low below the level, an ABC pattern in here. So this little pattern here will be a bigger pattern of this whole fractal here. It'll be all just fractal. So, and that will be tied up in here. So you just keep going up and under that. But at the same time, as it comes down here, like this point here, you'd look at, well, what price point is that at, you know? And then if you've got the volume, you might be able to see the volume on the SPX or something of that nature. That should have increased volume, decreased volume, increased volume, decreased volume. Because all corrections are on lower volume. So then you think to yourself, well, okay, that's got increased volume. That's got lower volume. Maybe I could get it up here. What levels are we talking about up here? Oh, there's a classic trading levels pattern in here. Let's let's get one contract in there and we'll put the stop above that. And we could do the same over here. So it doesn't matter where you sell really. You just need to know where you are in the pattern because where you know where when you know where you are in the pattern, you'll know where to put the stop. 
So that's there. That means that also too, when you come down here, this number two in here, we want that as the resistance here. And then of course we want, this will all be, the 100 will be here as well. We want that to be there. And then we'll have the stop under, we'll have group two under here again and get it there again as well. Um, so uh, you could sell it up here. You might be lucky enough to put a line through there. Sometimes if the B wave comes back, it's a little bit useless. Um, but if it goes up here and it falls short of that, and I'm not talking about in the first move up here, I'm talking about that you have an ABC back, this will be a five, three, five structure. And when you're up here, if it fails to get into the green up there and it suddenly makes that the resistance, well then you gotta go from that point, you know? And if you can count five waves up here, that's also going to make it nice as well. So you'll end up having one, and two, and you might have to go into a tick chart or a one minute chart. And if you can't figure it out, then, uh, and you're in the futures market here, then go and have a look at the SPX or the SPY or the NASDAQ and have a look around the block to see, you know, even Amazon or all of these other things that are creating this and find out, oh, well, Amazon's finished its five wave structure and it's moving down, you know, it's three wave structure and, and it's moving down now, you know? So, you know, if you have a look around and keep your eyes open, you'll see subtleties everywhere, you know? So yeah, anyway, that's where, where that's what we're talking about today there so based on that five waves here we should be we should be good to go i think in the i mean i like to think outside the box a little bit the only other thing here which you do see in the currency market highly leveraged markets is looking at this as wave one here with an a wave a b wave and a c wave down here that's possible so don't overdo it up here. Once that once that moves down, once that low gets taken out, then you know you're on the way at that point. But looking at the stock, looking at stocks, I think we're on the right track. But just looking at the flip side, that's um, that's all doable there. I mean, possible. Uh, Radio. So a bit of yakking on that one, but that sort of sets the tone for the Nasdaq. So with the Nasdaq here. We've come down really quite nice and low here. So um, it's a bit difficult to call this in wave one and A and a B and a C here as an expanded flat for, for that. I mean, you do see that in Bitcoin and you see it in, 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 um, in currencies, you know, highly leveraged sort of markets. Um, having expanded flat in wave one is not really in the book, in the Bible, but it's there. Um, it's normally a wave four, so once again here as well, but the good thing about the NASDAQ is we've got the 13 here as well. So once it trades above here, um, we can just drag that down here a little bit as well, just, just to be sure, because we know that this market is the weaker market. It's pulled back down lower here, you know, to this one, and it's going to be working with this. So anywhere, you know, onto that one, two and three here, you know, I mean, even if you you know, if you get the smallest position you can at this one here when it goes up to that get one small position there another small position there and if the um in, in, ter in terms of putting stops here this is group one up here and it's above the 61.8 percent so as as an initial stop you could look at the classic trading levels pattern again and look at just looking for the first high above the level if it, if it came in you know and then just putting the stop up here above that. And then if you wanted to refine it, you know you can come down to the second high as well on this. So you could bring this down to the second high here to refine at that point. And that, if that gets triggered in there, well then you may as well be long at that point because it's on top of group one, that means it'll be leaving here. Anyway, that's that. And I'm just keeping it very simple today. Um, so uh, the, man in the grass Russell and um, wave one and two and it's quite low here but we've got a nice five waves down here and all the stocks have got this as well so I've also brought this down too because that was at 19 there and it may not get there so I'm just bringing it down a little bit further just to make sure to be sure to be sure contracts are cheaper in this market I think so um, yeah and then also <clears throat> this is the 18 here 
So from the 19, from 18 to 19 here, you would have one, two, and three, and the midpoint, where we're gonna also add to the short, because you'd add to the short over here, but realistically, you would look for um, this pattern you know at that level there you know and that way you, that way you you're refining what you're doing but what you're really doing is you're managing your exposure the risk that you're up against in the market you know and that's what the trading's all about is is the risk the risk 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 so yeah so this will have group two here so 1865 and 1872 where it's trading now <clears throat> this will be the a wave here so there should be some sort of relationship between the a wave distance and the um, C wave here. So we, like I said, we may not get all the way up there. So just be a little bit mindful um, of that. Alrighty, um, that's it. I won't be doing the um, uh, the ETFs today. I'll just, just wanted to get this message across. So I'll leave it all at that. Um, so thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoy the weekend. Cheers.